Hello everyone, this is Curtis, and I am here today talking with Michael McGarvey, who is an artist, and as you will soon find out, he's also an inventor. So all around creative guy, who has our January uh, exhibit in our Stevenson House Gallery called Naturally Elementary. So we'll talk to him about that and look at some of his artwork. So enough from me, we're going to uh, see Mike and talk about his artwork. Michael McGarvey and Mike, um, can you tell me a little bit about the title of this show? Well, uh, uh, elementary, my dear art, that's uh, my mom uh, used to take me when I was in elementary school to uh, uh, two days out of the week after uh, school to a friend of hers house and she was an artist and uh, we, uh, um, she taught classes out there and her husband taught uh, us how to build uh, the uh, little balsa wood planes and everything. But I learned how to paint from her and do some ceramic and it was just, I, I always loved art because of that. Cool, well, let's get started. Tell us about this, this piece right here. This is, uh, was a picture of that dad that was standing on that bridge and I bleeped out. But that's uh, in Venice, Italy. Sure. On the canal. Now, um, are you using acrylic paint or mixed uh, media? That's, or? Water, that's uh, watered down a lot. Acrylic's like watercolor, but it's, it's acrylic uh, watercolor. Very cool. Yeah, I, I immediately see Venice when I see that. That's cool. Mm -hmm. All right, now, I've Les, Les Reinhardt told me that you're a sharp guy, but I didn't know that you'd actually be bringing in sharp objects that, <laughs> with, with artwork on well, them. Well, it, it was hanging up on the ceiling, though. But yeah, they, I, these are old saws. They're antique. they got, got the seal on them. And, uh, 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 they're all called federated uh, uh, saws, and uh, I, I just paint on them. I collect them when they're not very much at the antique store, but I I like painting on them. Yeah, those look those look really cool, hung up on a wall for uh, sure. Uh, well, let's, uh, so I, I see some some dogs here. Tell us about these dogs. Those that, that's uh, um, Jordan, and that's. Uh, my, they were my girlfriend's dog who lived with me uh, before and then kind of became my dog too. Sure. They lived with me a long while. And uh, when they died, I, I painted each of them. That's, and that's not actually paint, that's all uh, pen and ink. Okay. It's colored pen and ink, yeah, most of it's black, but. Uh, I used the, the brown and the different, basically just brown on my eyes and, and uh, the brown and on that. And I, where you see the white, a lot of times I just leave the, leave the palette. Sure. I don't, I don't use it in white. Well, it seems like you've uh, done a good job capturing their personalities. Yeah. I've got a picture of mine. She was a 170 pound mastiff, big dog. Oh my goodness. All right, well, so I mentioned uh, briefly when I, in this introduction that you are also an inventor. Um, so tell us about this thing in front of us here. Well, this is like a uh, workstation for magnification. Uh, I have an ear side in this where I have trouble seeing definition in 3D. And uh, reading when I was younger was really hard because I had it back then too. Uh, my eyes kind of go cross-eyed a little bit when I read and it goes blurred. But uh, with the bigger uh, you make your words, the easier it is to, uh, to uh, um, read it without sure. uh, focusing. And uh, I found that uh, one day I was uh, looking for a, a 
these lenses so I could make uh, uh, holograms. Well, uh, I got them. I started looking at them and I said, why haven't I seen these before? Well, you don't just, when you pick them up, they're not uh, as useful, but to make them set in a uh, uh, thing and lift them up, uh, the further you lift them up, the uh, more magnification. So I uh, made it and uh, I said, well, I'm gonna make something where I can move it and make it uh, up higher. Yeah, so so it's adjustable so you can here. See it and set it. So it's adjustable with these screws yeah. and the higher up it goes, the more it magnifies. Mm -hmm. And then you can also switch out these uh, yeah, these plastic out. magnifier tiles. These slide out. And so you've got, you've got magnets working here and you've got... Yeah, the magnet, if you pull it down and it go flat. Sure. Or you uh, put it on the other side, mm -hmm. it'll hold it. Uh, so you can read with this yeah, or you can great. do like finer detail in art or just see it better, right? That's great for art because not only does it uh, change a flat picture. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm going to, I'm going to get okay. this picture, but I, uh, I know uh, like birds, you can find that, that's in, in the hammer. Sure. And so I, I, I understand that you um, filed for a patent for this device as well. Yeah. I did, but so there's those birds. You see the, see the feather and then they, they really pop once you... Oh, sure. Look more real. So it started out buying these uh, plastic panels for holograms, because, you know, why not make a hologram? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it turned yeah, into... I, I've always, I, I've tried to mention before, and I said, this is great in a lot of the nursing homes, macro generation. Sure. That's where nearsight goes almost blind. Yeah. And with the 10 to 20 times of this, yeah. you get someone in a nursing home that has macro generation or someone anywhere being able to see without having surgery. Might That's... have lenses put in her eyes. Wow. But yeah, I have a patent on them. That is really cool. So you can just uh, make that if anyone's interested in uh, having one of their own, they can get in touch with you to, to make one of those. That's really cool, Mike. Yeah, I have a patent on it. Well, do you want to keep going down the line? So, uh, sure. like I said, we just kind of sure. uh, put these up against the wall, sure. and so this is a little bit of a pop-up uh, preview here. Um, so I see some birds here, and I also, after you tell us about the birds, I want to tell, I want you to tell us about the frame, if you don't mind. I, I just uh, kept a little notch on, uh, on here. Cool. So I'm I, I, uh, I just rested on there and uh, so these uh, uh, where you just put the glass uh, match up, I just cut that and cut it over. Sure. And uh, they, uh, they fit together screws. Well, and this looks like old, uh, I'm going to call it like reclaimed wood. wood. Okay, sure. Yeah. That's a really nice effect that it has. Yeah. All right, well, let's go down the line and tell us about this next one. Uh, I did that off the picture I have, and uh, it, uh, it's, uh, looks like a bunch of young horses. <laughs> sure. Well, I just call wild horses, too. but yeah. Reminds me a little bit of the Rolling Stones song we were just yeah. talking about old music, but uh, yeah. wild horses, that's, that's a good one. Yeah. All right, and I see a, a bald eagle here. Yeah, I did that the other day. Oh, just the other day? Yeah. Wow. I did that yesterday, that one the other day. And, uh, and so you've got, so this is on a piece of, uh, is it canvas it's or wood? wood? Okay. It's just a piece of plywood. Sure. And then painted it on there. I like uh, the colors and the, the layers, how you can kind of see some of the wood behind it even, and it kind of, yeah. Gives it a sense of texture there. Yeah. That's really nice. All right, so I, I see some bridges over here. 
that's Touch. one of my favorite. That's off the Alter Bridge uh, album. Uh, uh, they uh, Alter Bridge was Creed uh, when they got rid of uh, Scott Sapp. Oh, okay. They got, uh, Miles Kennedy. Okay. And that's the first Alter Bridge album. Nice. Mm -hmm. I did an intolerance and sold on eBay. It was bigger. Okay. Even bigger than that. But yeah, but I like that picture. Yeah, that's nice. There's a stone and the reflection's perfect. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, not perfect, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nice. Uh, you want to talk about these on the table here? Uh, that one there. Uh, is off a noble still a cherry uh, um, tree. Uh, that one's behind River Brian. Sure. And uh, these uh, railroad trestles. Oh yeah. This one's uh, um, off a cherry tree. It's a single one. <laughs> that double one's behind River Brian. Sure. So, uh, so what is this picture from the, the, uh, yeah. The railroad trusses, they cut them off and I just took a picture of it. Oh, nice. So is this your, uh, photo then? Yeah. Nice. And, uh, just the bear had a greeting card uh, <laughs> in the water. There <laughs> so you go. Keep your feet up, yeah. That's nice. All right, so we've got some big ones over here uh, on on the countertop. So again, this one uh, has a an original uh, Mike McGarvey frame um, with some uh, horses pulling a, a sled in the snow, right? Yeah. Now, is this something that you saw somewhere, or you imagined, or? Well, I was in the rehab and. Uh... Um, Kokomo after I was injured and uh, and uh, I uh, they said well we need to do some drawing I said yeah so I picked it out of a magazine and it was just basically the the uh, horses and I put the sleigh in there with the guy and uh, the tree and all that but uh, and then I put the scenery in there because it was a little different, but it was like in the open, it's just the horses. <laughs> I wanted more of a picture, so. But uh, I was in rehab just because I, I was disabled at work. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually did that two weeks after I uh, got out. I had to take my hands because they, they didn't feel anything because my nerves were cutting both arms. Okay, wow. But I had to take my hand because they kept popping up. Wow. <laughs> so I taped them and... Uh, so you taped the, the brushes to your hands. Well, I tried to hold them and then they they go like that. So I basically put a black tape around them. Wow. On um, the pencil and the, uh, on the brush. So instead of like Edward Scissor hands, you were like brush hands. Yeah. <laughs> That's real. And, and, and so you achieved that w uh, with that technique, if you will. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Now, I, so I understand this one is um, a, a scene from Kokomo. That's um, the city building and uh, fire station connected. Fire station and the city building was in front and it was, that's the old one. Sure. That's the way it is. And uh, they left it in there uh, and it's still down there, downtown. Nice. And what do we have over here to the left? Another. Uh, uh, it's uh, River Run. It's uh, another uh, railroad trestle. Uh, I kind of like bridges and the, the reflection and stuff. I took that picture. It's uh, over by my house. I walked over there. So. Nice. And I that, live across the street in Westridge. And uh, it's a, a 
a bevel trestle uh, at South the White River. So these uh these these three here that are on on this countertop are all pretty big. Can you give us a sense of what what are their sizes? That's three by three. That's three uh, by uh, um, thirty inches. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thirty six by thirty. Yes, yeah, so these are pretty big. I think uh, they'd look nice over you know over someone's mantle or over their couch or sofa or something like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got one more over here on this easel, and this one's um, got a little brighter colors. I've been noticing that you, you use kind of some muted colors, and then over here we've got a brighter green. Well, that's, um, that's uh, uh, my backyard, and I did that when I was in high school. Oh, no kidding. It's my mom's picture, so it's not for sale. Not for sale, okay. So we have some some uh, pieces in this uh, exhibit that are not for sale, but others will be for sale and we'll uh, get that all sorted out in the next week. Only about five. Gotcha. Put them off the side or something. But yeah, a lot of these also, all of them. Great. Well, thanks for uh, giving us this preview today. So we'll um, we'll share this online and then um, we'll share this for part of our uh, January 1st Friday, which is this Friday, the first New Year's Day. So we've not missed a first Friday in like, this is going to be number 100, actually. Number one. Yeah. And you're going to be one of the stars. So and it'll be on the first. That's cool. Too. Yeah. So, um, so first week of January, these will be up in the uh, greenhouse at Nickel Plate Arts, which is called the Stevenson House. And you'll be able to come by um, during our open gallery hours and check out Mike's paintings, as well as this really cool magnifier invention that he's made. Um, so come check him out. And Mike, do you have any parting wisdom you want to share with us? No. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for uh, sharing your art during the month of January with us. Mm -hmm.